सो हेलो गाइस दिस इज शुभम भारद्वाज वेलकम बैक विद अनदर वीडियो ऑफ सेल्स फॉर गीक चैनल सो गाइस टुडे वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग बिकॉज़ वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वेब टू लीड फॉर्म्स सो एज मोस्ट ऑफ यू विल नो वेब टू लीड फॉर्म्स सो आई विल गिव यू अ क्विक ब्रीफ अबाउट वेब टू लीड फॉर्म्स सो वेब टू लीड फॉर्म इज बेसिकली यूज्ड टू जनरेट लीड्स फ्रॉम योर वेबसाइट और एनी स्टैटिक पेज यू वांट टू गेट user details uh, into your salesforce org so as this is my current website which is salesforcegeek.in so i will move out if you see this is a contact me tab i click on it you will see our contact me form over there so basically this is the web to lead form i used on my website so when someone entering data into this form the data will automatically saved into the salesforce org so i will let you know how to achieve this and uh, basically this is a customized uh, web to lead form the actual web to lead form is not like that we have to add some custom css to it so let's see how to achieve it uh, for that we have to move into our salesforce org so let's go so as you see currently i am in my salesforce org let's move to setup and here we simply we have to simply type web to lead after that you will you will see a uh, create web to lead form button so i will let you know that uh, currently i am not using recaptcha uh, verification in my form so i will let you know in a, another video how to use recaptcha verification in your Google, in your web to lead form so currently we are going to create a simple web to lead form click on click on create web to lead form so here you have see available fields and selected fields so currently we having a uh, first name email and company city state province and last name in our selected fields so we will choose accordingly according to our needs uh, what fields we are going to use so as for now i am using first name last name email let's say remove company remove city and remove state now add website to the uh, selected fields and after that simply font to the selected fields now you will see that there is a, a return url return url basically when you click submit on your form you want to redirect your customer to a particular page it will be a thank you page like uh, thank you for submitting this form or any kind of form so currently i'm using uh, my website uh, my youtube channel link over there like it will redirect to my channel and uh, as you see recaptcha api key pair as i am not using recaptcha uh, in my form i so simply i should click on uh, this check box after that you have to simply uh, click on uh, generate so i simply click on generate after that you will see there is a, a code uh, html code over there you have to simply uh, select all and simply copy it down so now this is a sim basically simple html form uh, now i have to add css to it i will let you know how it looks uh, before and after so let's go uh, let's say click uh, you i have to use i'm using sublime for this so so let's say create an another file <coughs> and simply uh, save this with html extension of form salesforce geek dot html so for now if i and simply create a structure for my html form now going to paste the copied code from salesforce org here so as you see 
uh, we are having lots of comment and in the comment uh, we are having a particular uh, direction what we have to do so here it is please add the following meta element to your page head so simply we have to uh, cut it down and paste it in our header of our HTML page so let's remove these comments and this will also be removed after that you will see you, you are in the form now I have to add some CSS to it because if I save this uh, you will see uh, the look of this form it's like that it's a basically uh, normal a very not so good looking form uh, let's change it to a very good looking form so for that I used a pre uh, customized CSS for it uh, don't worry I will uh, let put all the code to my github repository and put it put the link down in the description box you can check it out from there so simply I copy it down and uh, go to header after that simply uh, go to style tag sorry uh, form example so simply go to header and here I have to use the style tag then in the style tag I have simply paste it down now what I have to do I have to simply use a div class div over there uh, in outside of my form so simply I paste, paste it there and uh, after form let's say div now this is close there are some more attributes like a field set and legion so let's say this copy it down and uh, paste it to my after form now I have to simply close the tag of field set so I simply now everything will be fine so let's save it and see how our form looks like so as you see that our context for us form is completely changed now what we have to do uh, now I have to add this form uh, to my WordPress website uh, like, like simply I have to simply copy it down and uh, uh, let's move to the WordPress website so currently I am having a page which is contact me but I will create another for the demo so I simply uh, go to the admin panel of my WordPress website let's say WP admin now what I have to do I have to simply create uh, click on pages and create a new page I know you are not familiar with web, most of you are not familiar with this WordPress but uh, if you are having a website uh, you will know the, this interface simply I give a title to my page new contact page after that I simply go to text and paste the code I copied from sublime text so here I paste it down so basically there is a little error which uh, I faced during saving this so because uh, in this it is not supporting the meta tagging caps so I have to simply uh, make this into a smaller case that's totally okay and content too so I simply got all this after that everything will be fine and I'm going to save this so basically I publish this page so let's preview changes let's see how our form looks like on our website so okay our contact page will be looking all good so now uh, let's test our uh, very uh, freshly created web to lead form for that I, I have to uh, first show you that I am having, I am having no data in my salesforce org so let's see currently I am having this and let's move to salesforce org salesforce org lead 
object simply click on view all after that uh, select leads so for now you will see that there are two leads for today's leads okay and uh, let's create a new lead let's a type name uh, salesforce geek and uh, type uh, an email and the website will be salesforce geek dot in and let's have any phone number and submit it so as you see that this will redirect me to my salesforce geek channel as i told you earlier that you have to type the url you want to redirect your customer or you want to redirect your user so this is all about redirecting and let's see that whether our lead will be generated to our salesforce org or not so simply uh, refresh it so as you see that uh, the name lead name salesforce geek will be generated in our salesforce org so for li like this you can achieve it uh, for your website or you can also use this feature this is a really really good feature i feel so <laughs> basically this is a simple way to achieve anything so guys if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe this subscribe this channel for more such videos i will be posting more and more unique content over my channel like uh, uh, currently there is a a uh, certification league if you want to participate in this certification challenge you can also participate by watching this video i will put out all the useful information over there and for today uh, that's it and uh, i will put uh, put out all our uh, next video on uh, on a web to lead form with recaptcha so on in this on this video we will let uh, i will let you know like uh, how to use recaptcha uh, into your web to lead form so till now Uh that's it thank you so much for watching this video